Hey everyone, this is Sona Wave with the finally promised review for the Kingdom Commander Class Rotomus Prime. Um, I would have filmed him several days earlier, but I actually threw my back out and um, it's only just starting to come good uh, now, so I thought I'll take the opportunity to film it while I'm not feeling too bad. Um, I will also be filming Huffer as well once I uh, get a better handle of his transformation. I'm just having a bit of an issue getting the uh, front to go the way it should. So, um, but other than that, um, I just need to get that under control. Uh, in the background, you can probably see Jazz. Yes, you, I'm talking to, Furry. He's uh, feeling a bit neglected. Don't believe him, he's a drama queen. He's a drama queen. <laughs> but um, when they first announced uh, Rotomus and I saw images in that for him, I was sitting on the fence about him. I wasn't 100% sure I was going to get him. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, he started showing up in Australia for the uh, toy sale for Big W. Um, started appearing a couple of weeks early in some places. So, people were already getting him well before that. And posting their videos or their images of him. Um, and I saw uh, a couple of reviews as well. And... Um, I decided I did actually really like the way he looked so uh, when the toy sale rolled around I bought him uh, online because with my luck I would have gone into store the day the in-store sale started and he would have been gone so um, and as it happened about two or three days later my store was completely out of stock of him and I think within a week, he was completely gone from the website. So, um, yeah, so it was good that I bought him when I did. And uh, I know people will be getting him off um, Zing and EB Games uh, as they're the other two places carrying him. Um, I think Zavi has him as well, but I've never bought anything off Zavi, so... I wouldn't know what sort of, um, what they're shipping in that like, like I've never had to deal with them, so, um, but I'm hoping, um, Zing will still have stock of Rotomus available and I can, uh, pick up another couple, not myself, uh, got a couple of friends in America who would like to, uh, have Rotomus early. So if I can snag a couple for them, that would be great. So I'll just have to um, keep my eyes on the websites and um, yeah, just hope I can get them for them. Um, I did manage to pick up a couple more of the Core Class Soundwave and a uh, Dracodon for uh, another couple of friends of mine in America as well. So there's that. I... Uh, Managed, as I said, to pick up Huffer for myself. My came up finally got in wave two of uh, Kingdom. So uh, we had the entire thing. But I, I already had a Ractonite. Uh, and I didn't want Air Razor. I already had RC. So uh, Huffer was the only one I was missing. Um, and the entire wave of deluxe Netflix figures was there. Um... I'm still not sure if I want to get um, the DCS Army drone or not. I'm still up in the air about that. Um, the Voyagers haven't shown up yet, but I don't imagine they'll be too far away. I reckon in maybe the next couple of weeks we may see them. But uh, time will tell. But um, yeah, I've had a uh, Rotomus now for about, I want to say a week. And, um, yeah, as I said, I was going to film the review sooner, but I did end up 
uh, throwing my back out again. This is like the third time I've done that. So um, nothing too serious. It just happens from time to time. And I was feeling well enough now to uh, actually do the review for him. So I thought I'll take the chance while I'm feeling better. And uh, so here we go. We'll just look at the uh, trailer in that first. This is obviously the uh, turret. But we'll uh, open up and form well, pretty much anything really. But I, I like the detail. I like the... Um, the way they've done the ends to give it like a smoky sort of look like it's well used I guess um and I um I quite like the way it looks and uh obviously you've got the uh fake um we also I'm trying to think of the right words uh don't know. There's some nice uh, detailing. I don't know if there's meant to be like faux gas gas tanks or something, but um, tracks. That's what I was trying to think of. Uh, fake tracks. It would be cool if they moved, but no, it's not a it's not a deal breaker or anything for me. Um, and uh, I do. I'd uh, like it, and if you've seen uh, Emgo's review, you'll know that, uh, yes, this is bluish compatible. No, I'm not going to do a bluish. Um, this is the trailer itself, which is a decent size, and of course you've got the uh, fake... Um, I'm really having a bad night. The um and this opens. Um it's even got actual hinges on it, which I think is pretty cool. I like that they've added that in there and this folds down to form a ramp and as you can see I've got some stuff tossed in there at the moment, some of the uh different blast effects that come with him. And of course his uh, sword. Now you can actually store this under his, uh, underneath his, um, on his undercarriage while he's in vehicle mode if you want, or you can toss it into the uh, trailer like I did. And of course there's his uh, gun which folds up and you can again toss this into the uh, trailer or you can plug it into onto the uh, side of his alt mode so it'll just go you want the shorter end to go in here and the longer end will plug in like so and yeah there you go uh, yeah, he's not properly transformed in the legs. Um, I couldn't get one of them to behave themselves, so uh, he's not yet yeah, properly transformed uh, in that regard. I don't know why he just decided to be um, a dick, essentially. <laughs> um, and I like that there's also storage under here. I can open this and there's more of the effects including the uh, matrix effect as well. You can see the uh, black smoke effects to put on the, you can put it on, put them like on here or you can actually put them on his alt mode. Um, and then of course this does open.
and does fold out like so. And then of course you can take this and just pretty much plant it anywhere uh, you like. So you can even uh, leave it in there in storage. Uh, if you don't want to put it on top of the trailer, you can just leave it inside the trailer um, if you wish. It's up to you and how uh, you want it to look. Uh, yes, I do think it looks like a space Winnebago uh, with it on. Um, like most people, I do think that. I don't care what Hasbro says. We all know it's a space Winnebago. And he's never going to live it down either. So, um, yeah, as I said, he's not properly transformed in... Uh, the legs, I couldn't get them to behave themselves, but uh, here he is with his pre-prime self, Hot Rod. So you can see uh, the differences. The um, cockpit is longer. Um, obviously, everything is larger, but I think he looks better. I think they've done a better job. You can definitely see, uh, especially with the flames they did. They actually outlined that so it pops more. The lights are painted. There's more detailing in the fin. The spoiler. And uh, yeah, he's not sporting the uh, faux chest this time. But I mean, I, I love uh, Hot Rod. I do love him. He, I thought he turned out great. Um, I just, I do agree that he could have probably used uh, some better paint application. Um, and for me, that was really the only issue with him, that he just needed better uh, paint apps. I think um, we'll work on transforming... Rotimus, so you want to take these little flaps and just swing them forward. Uh, if you can hear that, that is the cat demanding attention. And this will pop up. And then you'll want to bring this up as well. Then you're going to come down here. And you're going to pop this up. And then you're going to want to unpeg his arms. So just be careful. A few people have had issues uh, with the arms. Uh, I believe a few people have had accidents with the arms already. Um, so just, yeah, be careful with that. Um, and you're going to move these down and out. Then you want to bring this whole section forward. And you can open the chest and there's the uh, matrix of leadership, which is the same one that his hot rod counterpart comes with. Uh, Prime, Earthrise Prime comes with one as well. Um, I think the uh, Netflix... Megatron comes with one as well, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And you'll just want to make sure that they get pressed flat. And you want to fold these two flaps in. So you might see some, uh, some stuff from his Rotomus, his hot rod transformation. So, and then you're going to turn these around. Uh, then you aren't. He isn't a retool of Hot Rod. They just do share some of the same transformation. And then you're going to take the arms. And you want to turn them 180 degrees. So, and then uh, you can turn his head now. And that is a very, very primely looking face.
can definitely see the effort they went to to make him look very different from Hot Rod in the face. So, and uh, there's a notch here. And you want to swing it around until you hear it connect. And then with the shoulders, you've got several joints. So you're going to bring them up and then fold. So you'll want it to look like that. Then you're going to bring it up and tab it in. So you should hear a very solid click. And you're going to do the same on this side. Some of my joints are a little uh, tight. And then you're going to bring this and you're going to connect it to this. So again, a nice solid click. Then you're going to take this section, turn it, and you're going to tap this part right here into this slot here. So right there. Again, you should hear a nice solid click. And the hands, you're going to take this part, you're going to bring it down and swing. Then you're going to swing this entire section around and it'll come around and essentially wrap around that part of his arm. And just straighten out his fist. And of course, you're gonna do the same thing again on this. And then the legs, you'll come around here and separate them. And then you're going to open them, swing them down. And then you're going to push this wheel in. Then you're going to nudge it. And it should go in like that. Then you're going to lock it in. Fold out his foot. And then it's just the same on the other side. This is the leg I actually had trouble with. This one did not want to cooperate when I was going back into vehicle mode. I really, really do not know why.
So again, you just want to fix his foot. And then uh, the shoulders, these wheels actually open. So you want to bring it forward and it'll tab in. So as you can see, there's actually a tab right there. And that's where it'll tab in and that just gives a little more security if I can get a bit to behave itself so there you have Rotimus all transformed uh, this is probably going to be a very long uh, video and for that I do apologize uh, See if I can remember how to transform hot rod. It's been a while. I cheated. Rotimus, uh, Hot Rod decided he wasn't going to play with me tonight, so uh, I do actually have uh, two. I've got one in vehicle mode and one in robot mode, just because I can and I like them. But uh, you can definitely see uh, both the similarities and the differences between the two of them. Um, like in the legs, uh, even um, Rotimus' wheels fold into the backs of his legs, whereas you've got hot rods uh, sticking out. But the uh, arms are actually very similar in the way that they are done, and even a little bit with the um, actual upper body transformation as well. Um, the transformation for the legs is also uh, very similar. They both fold um in much the same sort of way just uh the big difference would be again the uh wheels um they don't play the same part for hot rods transformation as they do for rodimus but um i i am happy with him i am glad i got uh rodimus um i'm glad i have hot rod i am loving what they've done uh, I don't have the masterpiece uh, version of Rodimus I don't have the power of the primes version um, this is the first one of either character I've owned so I'm extremely happy with them both but um, 
I've kept you guys going uh, long enough, I think. Um, I know it's probably not the uh, best review, um, but I, I still enjoy doing the videos and I still enjoy sharing my thoughts with everyone and I have fun doing them and uh, thank you to anyone who watches my videos, um, to uh, all my friends for the support they give me, um, including uh, Optibomus. He's been a great support to me since I started uh, the channel. He's a good friend of mine and I'm always happy to uh, direct people to his videos when I can't do a transformation myself. Um, I find that uh, Optibotamus' transformation videos are some of the best because he goes uh, from vehicle to robot and then back again. So you can see both ways and you can figure out what you've missed. Um, and yeah, they it makes things a lot easier to do. And um, I just, I enjoy watching them and yeah, so if, uh, you're having trouble with the transformation, I would recommend looking him up. Um, but that's uh, all from me, guys. So uh, stay safe, stay kind to each other out there, and remember to smile because you are beautiful and unique, and you should own it. That's it from me, and I shall catch you guys in the next video.